In order to vlog, you need to turn the camera on. <laughs> uh, sometimes that happens. Uh, I go to. I just now went to record, press the record button and uh, realized the camera wasn't on. Anyways, uh, it's time to begin the BTS vlog. This is the opening segment of the BTS vlog for uh, December twentieth uh, to the twenty-third. Uh, it's the uh, weekend vlog. And so let's get the time and date stamp going. It is 13 hours and 3 minutes into the day of Saturday, December 21st, 2013. Yes, we are slowly but surely winding down uh, December, winding down the, and also winding down the year for 2013, which means in a few days it's going to be their second anniversary on YouTube. That's right, that's set two years on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Although it's not, it hasn't been as spectacular as other YouTubers. I'm not up in the thousands or anything like that. I did break the 100 mark, which is yay for that. And uh, for those of you who are um, uh, sharing the video, uh, you know, resharing the, my videos uh, on uh, Google Plus, thank you very much. So a big shout out to all of, all of you who have uh, uh, plus one and um, shared my uh, video around. That's uh, that, that's a uh, that's a. Uh, uh, something very, I'm very happy about. I'm very, see, I'm pleased to see that. Uh, what happened? Why didn't I start this on the twentieth? <laughs> this is the vlog for the twentieth to the twenty-third. Well, what happens is, is that I'm back in uh, sort of this uh, uh, heavily fatigued mode. Uh, I haven't had much of a break at all in the last few weeks, and so I'm going back into a bit of a fatigue mode. I don't know how bad it's going to get. We will see what that happens, but I, what's happening? I am making able to make it through through the the necessary points of the day. That, that in other words, getting through the work that I have to have to do in terms of my efficiency model. But by the time the end of the day comes around, I'm just far too tired to uh, really uh, um, do the vlog. And the thing is, is that sometimes you know. You intend to do the vlog between things you're trying to get done, different work you're trying to get done, but it doesn't always work out. So that it is, it is a degree of challenge to vlog on a daily basis. It's even harder to do the uh, the editing required to get it up on a daily basis as well. So that's kind of the reason why. Yes, I f I'm filming the daily vlog, but it's not going up on a daily basis because. There's just simply not enough time to do all the editing and everything that needs to get done. So it does it tend to lag, and sometimes uh, as a, it's one o'clock now in the afternoon, and uh, normally I wouldn't be recording this time. We're normally, I think, it was last week at this time I'd be asleep. So my day has flipped around, and I'm awake now, but I'm still feeling the laggy effects of actually uh, of of when I was sleeping, so I, I, I don't really know exactly where my sleep is going to end up end up right now. I don't know where it's going, uh, but I do have uh, uh, another another Greek study tonight. I'm going to church again tomorrow, uh, depending on the weather. Right now, we're supposed to be having a, a massive ice storm. I haven't checked outside yet to sort of see what it's like, but I saw. On my uh, observatory, I have a virtual Earth observatory that I've created using satellite images, and I saw the storm coming in. And it looks pretty bad, you know. For those of you who are out in the storm, be very careful. It's really, really bad out there. Uh, and right now, I've been sort of doing all my odds and ends, working on the diner. Work, the diner is coming along very well, uh, a lot better than I expected to come along, and. Uh, Watching uh, both Brett Taylor and uh, Kitty Mama, Kitty's Mama. I just finished watching Kitty's Mama. <laughs> the funny thing I was watching the, uh, I was watching um, 
the videos. I watch a lot of Thanksgiving videos from different people. And you, you know, any big thing is you notice other people's traditions when they're they're somewhat different from your own. Uh, being in a Greek uh, Asian food culture, the amount of food that is actually served at Thanksgiving or any Greek feast, and because Greek, Greeks feast like uh, uh, well, you've, if you've ever seen the movie Big uh, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, well, if you're in a, if you're an old in an older Greek family where the grandparents still cook, and this, in other words, the cooking tradition is passed down, and the kids have become really westernized, in other words, they still maintain a food culture, uh, then the amount of food that is actually served at the dinner is absolutely enormous. And you know this, you see this when you go to look at somebody who's, who's not in the Greek Asian food, food culture, you go to look at what they have on the table, that's the offerings on the table for people to have, the fair, and it's rather slim picking, so. I think, and the thing is, I have basically, uh, for those of you who want to know about uh, about the church, the church is, is Eastern Orthodox, and at the end of you know every service, there is there's a there's a good amount of pastry and food at the at at, at, at the uh, uh, at, at the service. So uh, again, it's the Greek traditions, the Greek uh, culture, is even present in the church because the church is actually viewed as a house. So there are people who take care of the church as if it's their own house. There, there are people who cook in the church as if it's their own house. And so what happens is that that food culture, the culture of Greece, really comes into the church if it's a prop. If, 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 it's, if the church is set up by the priest to be a institution, in other words, it's, it's a standard institutional church where everything is done by, by council and committee, then you're not going to have this. If the church is a family church, it's run by the priest, and the priest is is the core of the, of the family. He's the father. He's the patera. Uh, then you have a completely different environment. You have, uh, and this is what we have: is we have a church that is rem reminiscent of the churches in the Horio, in the village. These are the old village churches, and there is more not the institution that matters; it's the house church that matters. And the church functions very much as a house, and it has its dinners, it has its feasts, you know. In other words, the culture, the the, the, the home culture uh, of the people is really brought into the church, and it becomes part of the church environment, becomes part of the church's uh, soul, if you will. Uh, and I'm going to end this now. Uh, as you see, I'm still having a hard time keeping my eyes open. I don't know how I'm going to get through the weekend, but uh, I certainly will try. Hey, take it easy. Let's get started with a time and date stamp. This is going to be a little different. Uh, this segment is going to be a little different. Uh, let's see, time and date stamp. It is... Six hours and four minutes into the day of Sunday, December 22nd, 2003. And I know I'm supposed to be at church, but unfortunately there's an ice storm. And uh, so no one's traveling to church. So everyone's sort of advised to stay off the roads and no one's going to church. So <laughs> that happens like that sometimes. So I'm going to be here uh, working away. And I decided, decided to do the, dedicate this uh, uh, this uh, episode of B, uh, B, uh, Big Bang Theory RL to um, basically some type of uh, a little bit of a room tour. So let's get started. And the first bit of the tour that you have to sort of look at is um, the graphics that are around you. There's on both sides. There's graphics on the left, and there's going to be graphics on the right. Well, I should say my left and my right, right? So there's my right, and there's my left. Sometimes I get mixed up with these things because <laughs> it's hard to know, really, th really think about where the graphics are. The graphics on my left are my identifiers. Uh, the one below is Physics TV. The one above is uh, Cyborg Alpha TV. Those are the two channels. Uh, um, we're now at Cyborg Alpha TV. We're going to be moving towards uh, Physics TV. Physics, Physics, Physics TV is under development. Physics TV is going to be the polished product. It's going to be the final product that's going to produce a, a uh, standard uh, television channel. 
It's going to be run on YouTube, and eventually it's going to go uh, probably streaming live as well 24-7 uh, once we figure that out. The stuff in the middle has to do with Linux. And I've been doing what a lot of people said is impossible. I'm producing the entire show, doing, work, doing the entire TV station on Linux. That's because the entire facility here, and I'm going to give you a room tour of this place here, is a Linux facility. We are Linux. We, are on, uh, we work off of Linux. And so that's why you have the, the you have Tox the Penguin here on the on the right on the left side here you have Tox the Penguin. Uh, you also have two other ones that are blue. Those two blue there are basically KDE and uh, the signals for Kubuntu. KDE is the uh, I'll call the desktop platform. Linux is the underlying un, is, is the underlying operating system, the OS. So, and it can be common of a whole variety of OSs. There's a whole number of types of Linux. It's good. There's, uh, uh, there's uh, Fedora, uh, Red Hat, there's uh, Debian, there's uh, Mint. There is a whole variety. There's BSD. There's a whole variety of Linux out there. There's, a whole, there's no shortage of varieties. And we call them flavors. And I like the term flavors better than just some variety. And the thing is that even once you get into Linux, because Linux is so open, it's, it's, it's a really a tailored system. You can um, uh, adjust it and design it any way you want to design that operating system. So unlike most operating systems, Linux is not out of the box. It's something that you kind of custom tailor it and you fit it into your particular environment. And you can make it whatever you want. So in other words, from the standard choices you have, you can, you can take and mix and match whatever you want. Some people want a specific type of desktop uh, uh, in terms of they want all the bells and whistles with uh, you know three-dimensional graphics and everything so they go for the, the heavy stuff other people they want something lighter uh, my choice is kind of in the middle I need something that's functional uh, that gets the job done and provides me with a way to get a lot of work done at the same time so I do need Windows because I need to get a lot of work done at the same time I do have uh, do like my graphics on there because yeah yeah I'm working all the time but I also have to have some of that fun there as well while I'm working while I'm doing my studying so that comes in like that as well and that's what Kubuntu and KDE provide Kubuntu and KDE uh, and Kubuntu is the KDE environment for Ubuntu if you know the operating system of Ubuntu well Kubuntu is the uh, KDE side of that with so KDE bec becomes your main or primary desktop but what I've done is I've gone in and hybridized the desktop. So I'm working on a hybrid desktop between uh, between uh, uh, Ubuntu and Kubuntu. Now I've, I haven't gone to the the Ubuntu's Unity. I didn't move over to Unity. I stayed with GNOME. So basically, it's my desktop is a hybrid GNOME. Uh, it's, a, it's a KDE GNOME hybrid, if you want to look at it that way. So that's what that that's the uh, graphics here. The graphics, particularly above me and to, and to the right, the, the, that's the title. Uh, I have the B, uh, BBTRL, that's Big Bang Theory Real Life. And then there's BTS Vlog. This is because it's behind the scenes. This is a behind the scenes vlog. And the thing is, I'm either going to be here at the research desk or I'm going to be on Cyborg Alpha Mu. So it, th that will title up there will tell you whether I'm on Cyborg Alpha Mu or I'm. Uh, or I'm uh, or, <coughs> or I'm at the research desk. So, <coughs> excuse me. That's kind of some ways to know things. Uh, I am going to be adjusting the graphics here for a bit because I'm going to be adding more identifiers. The two identifiers I'm going to be adding, uh, one identifier actually I'm going to be adding in is something known as Freegan Inside. It's the uh, Intel logo uh, of, of Intel Inside, but adjusted so it says Freegan Inside. And that logo is there because I am a freegan. I get a lot of my stuff out of the garbage. I do a lot of recycling, and that's what I'm going to show you behind me. A lot of the stuff behind me is, is, is the recycling that I do. It's the way that I live in terms of uh, rather than going out and spending a lot of money on things, I just simply uh, try to find what I can and, and reuse it, re rebuild it, reuse it. And that's the whole goal here. Uh, so I'm going to give you a, uh, a, a small room tour. All right. See you in the next segment. Back for the next segment, and uh, I'm going to give you a brief room tour. So let me pick you up. All right, let me turn you around, and we'll take a look at the room here. So here we go. 
Now, this is the microphone that you see on, uh, in, sort of in, inside everything here. Inside, inside the regular videos, the microphone is usually here. That you've been seeing this microphone here. This is a uh, sound setup with a piano and a uh, audio board. This is connected to the main research desk. And there you see up there, I have uh, Gen X Pen on top and Brittle Productions down below. And these are the two Cyborg Alpha Mu that are sitting side by side. One Cyborg Alpha Mu is attached to those speakers up there. What's happening over here is I've run out of room uh, to do all the uh, YouTube strolls uh, down on the main channel. So I have to go to a sub-channel, basically I, I put it on my research, my recess channel. Uh, I've moved uh, some of the, uh, the uh, places that I go on a regular basis, like Gen X Pen, uh, Lifebury. Uh, I've moved that up to there. I'm also going to be moving Brittle Productions up to uh, the top screen. That's going to be on that device. That's basically an Android device connected to uh, the, the uh, flat screen TV. So this comprises the research desk here. And so I actually primarily watch most of the documentaries on the top TV. The top TV, which is uh, IPTV, uh, is where I'd watch most of my documentaries. Uh, the ones down below, the one down below, is uh, be, is going to be doing graphic editing. It's going to be music music editing, video editing, uh, as well as organizing all the notes that I need to take for. Uh, the research that I'm doing. So now let's look at look around the room here a little bit more. Down below here is I've got a lot of food down here. There's a lot of food stuff here. As I said, one of the problems when you're uh, when you're uh, doing the work like this is you do need to eat, and it helps to have food around you. So let's go over here. This is the main computer that that runs this, and there's also connected to that. I also going to be adding two more systems to the to, to the desktop here. This is be going to be where the electronics bench is going. Uh, I still have the I still have to configure the the laptop. Still has to be configured. I haven't done that yet, and what, that's sort of going to take care of this whole area here. It's going to be cleaned up a little bit more, and the laptop is going to go over to the side more. Uh, that was, this will leave room for the actual work here on the electronics bench. This kind of has to be cleaned up a little bit more. Uh, more organization is required because uh, I've got to organize all the stuff that's back there. This whole pile that you see back behind me here, the parts organizers that you would buy from a uh, warehouse uh, that would supply industrial supply uh, for electronics parts, uh, they're rather expensive. So what I do is I take any leftover tins and boxes that can be used as part organizers, uh, and I save them here. So because the parts, I haven't, I haven't sort of pulled a lot, part, a lot of stuff yet. There's stuff that still has to be sort of fitted and organized. Uh, I pile all the extra boxes and the um, what's going to be part organizers here. I have another soundboard here that has to be worked on. So this soundboard has to be worked on. And this is an old TV. I just pulled this TV out. Uh, the system of this TV it used to be over here just about two months ago. If you look back in the in the older uh, BTS vlogs, you'll see that the, the t that TV was up there. This TV is not going to be thrown out. It's going to be recycled. Uh, parts will be pulled out and reused for uh, other projects. And same thing, there's a whole bunch of electronics back there. Uh, where my finger's pointing, if you can see where my finger's pointing, just look to the general part here, right there. There we go. Right there, that, that pile there, that's all old electronics or older electronics that are going to be taken apart and uh, used for the electronics engineering bench. I also have uh, several uh, computers back there as well. This whole area back here is basically uh, extra storage space. So there's, not, there's no purpose for this part, this, that part of the room other than storage itself. So that's basically the room. Uh, let me put you back over here. Let me sit you down. There we go. Uh, so that's basically the room tour. That's what's going on now. Uh, I, I should uh, probably Monday or Tuesday film uh, a room tour of the kitchen diner. That's more or less done. I just have to do some minor fixing up to it in terms of getting it, getting it uh, properly working. And then over the year, I'll sort of really sort of uh, 
fix it up on, on the show, the kitchen diner. So uh, I'll do a video test probably for uh, this episode. We'll see if, if we've got enough time in this episode because this didn't take too long. Uh, and then we'll go. For, you know, we'll see how things progress. We'll, we'll see how things progress. In other words, I'll do things as I can. I'm going to try to get things done, but I don't know if I always can get them done in the time that I state them. So, in other words, it's not that I'm not trying to do things. Is I am trying to do things and get all the work done that I intend to get done. It just sometimes things pop up and or, or projects take longer than expected, and you don't get the work done that you want to get done. And that's just kind of the reality. And because I'm adding the extra graphic to here, I'll also be readjusting the graphics here as well. The size of the graphics, so they don't take up as much space. Anyways, that's about it for now, uh, for this segment. This is sort of the Freegan version of this segment. And then, you know, Freegan is basically people who get stuff from free. You go up to dumpsters, you go up to uh, uh, stuff that's thrown out on the curbside. You pick it up, you bring it back, and you recycle it. You, you, you rebuild it. So it's either called Freeganism, it's uh, or, or Freegan. It's also called upcycling. We could do the same thing with clothes. We could take uh, used and reused clothes uh, and simply, simply repurpose them, re reconstruct them, rebuild them, so that uh, they have new life and don't need to be thrown out. Uh, and that's kind of what's done. This done here. Nothing is really dirty. It's just a lot of clutter here. That's all. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. That's it for this segment, and I will be back in a couple hours with uh, uh, the next segment. Probably, maybe uh, next segment, if I can get enough work done, it will be a room tour of the kitchen diner. All right, take it easy. Well, it's time to get started again. Yeah. Sometimes I don't feel like vlogging. It, it is a rather difficult time, uh, rather difficult uh, to break away from what you're doing, uh, to vlog, particularly if you're preoccupied with something. Anyways, uh, let's get uh, started with a time and date step. It is uh, 12 hours and 36 minutes into the day of Monday, December 23rd, 2013. That's right. And this is going to be the last segment, or the closing segment for the uh, weekend vlog. The weekend uh, uh, the vlog, <laughs> vlog is, is something unusual because it does encompass a variety of days. And the work I intend to get done is not always what I do get done. It Because you know, I never know exactly what the work I'm going to be doing is going to entail. I'm going to have something to drink here. Uh, and... Um, yeah, there's the standard work on the kitchen, the kitchen diner that I'm always, that I'm typically doing, and it ended up that uh, the weather was so bad. Uh, if you uh, sort of watch the news, there was that storm in Toronto that uh, it actually came up the Ohio Valley, it came from Texas all the way up through the Ohio Valley. Uh, it hit Michigan. It hit a huge bunch of different states. Then it hit Ontario, and I'm in Toronto, so we got hit in Toronto as well. Most of Toronto, about well, a good chunk of Toronto right now, is still without power. Uh, thank God uh, I didn't get hit with a power outage. My power stayed on throughout the whole time, thank God. <laughs> the, I got someone out, some, someone watching out for me. <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, that means I've been, sort of been just here, because you can't go anywhere. Uh sort of milling around, getting whatever work I can do get done, done. And that means uh, one of the things I've been working on is working on the graphic overlays. Uh, I recently tested out uh, one of the, my episodes on the big uh, on the big screen TV here. Not the big screen, but the uh, the, the, the uh, IPTV, which has a larger screen. And because I want to see how, how I'm shooting in 720p, which should be good enough for uh, a large screen for like a uh, regular TV set. So I wanted to see how the graphic overlays came out. And I realized, uh, and I have measured out the graphic overlays and then brought the graphics down to the proper size. So they could be put in their proper position. But I realized that when you blow it up on a TV like that, let's say you're on, on, a, on a bigger screen TV like this, which is a 24 inch up there, that the um, the graphics, if it's a, if the graphics are low quality, that 
what's going to happen as you scale up that graphic, the um, the imperfections in the graphics are going to show. So I realized, and this, I just realized this today actually. No. Uh, so I've had to go back in and re-edit re some of the stuff I had done already over the weekend. I'm re-editing again. And what I've done is, rather than put in an already reduced graphic, I take a graphic uh, on this larger size, higher resolution, bring it in as the overlay, layer, but, but shrink it on the screen so on the overlay. So what happens, the qual if, if you bring in a graphic, let's say, at uh, 250 uh, pixels by 50 pixels. If it comes in as a graphic like that, as a JPEG, uh, on the screen itself as an overlay, what will happen as you blow it up on the screen, the jagged edges will start showing up. In other words, you'll start seeing pixelation. If you bring in a uh, 1000 by uh, whatever, ask, whatever uh, height that graphic is, in other words, the graphic is 1,000 pixel long, long is when 1,000 pixels wide, and how many pixels uh, uh, deep or height you're talking about? Uh, I'm not really too sure which, which, how much that, that that pixelation was on the height. Uh, but basically, what ended up happening uh, as I brought that pic I brought that uh, graphic in, and then I said, shrink that graphic, but keep the quality down to the size where it fits in a. Uh, a a 250 by 50 uh, 250 by 50 box. In other words, that's the aspect ratio that we're looking at. Uh, and as we keep it in that box there, uh, even though it's been shrunk to fit in that size, the, the quality of the graphic is still very high quality. And so when you go back and play it again, what you see is a higher quality graphic. And so that's what I've been working on, uh, really trying to bring in the graphics better into uh, the BTS vlogs. I'm also working now to extend these graphic overlays, uh, the better quality graphic overlays, to uh, the uh, Instagram, uh, Insta vlogs, and into uh, the uh, Union of the Geek. For a large chunk of these overlays are going to be redone again. There's going to be a lot of sort of fixing up in order to get these things into a proper uh, frame. Uh, what else is there? Uh, if you may notice that uh, on the graphic here, the graphics on the left have uh, on my left have changed. They've been adjusted slightly, and I've put in a new one called Freegan uh, Inside. I'm probably going to end up changing out the graphic in the in the Freegan Inside. Because I looked at it and I really can't make out the lettering Freegan. It is a bit of a strain to do that. Uh, you let me know what you think about that. Whether, whether or not you think uh, the, that level of lettering Freegan is okay. If it's not okay, then I'm going to change it to a simpler font. So that it's it's more visible when it's, when it's at that level. Um, well, over there. Uh, I don't really think there's much, much else to talk about. Sometimes I have a lot to talk about. Sometimes I don't have a lot to talk about. So what I'll do is I'll leave it here for now. Uh, I'm going to go check and see how much time is on this vlog. And if there's enough time, on, uh, if I've done enough time, then this will be it. And if not, I'll come back and say uh, add a second segment to the goodbye segment. So anyways, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, something else went wrong. <laughs> Sometimes this camera acts very funny and very bizarre. So, anyways, I checked the time on the segments, the number of segments I did, and, and, the, and totaled up all the different time for it, and everything seems to be fine. I'm at the 30-minute uh, mark, so as long as, I'm at, as long as I'm within five minutes of the 30-minute mark, I think that's good. So, sometimes I know these last few episodes have been... They've been like on the on the thirty-five minute mark. Uh, when the thirty-five minute mark mark episodes, there's a lot more to talk about. Uh, sometimes, if there's not as much to talk about, it'll be on the twenty-five minute mark. So I think if that if, if that's the variation, I think that's a good variation. So, anyways, I will uh, come back in a uh, couple hours to do the uh, BTS vlog from for Monday and Tuesday. That's uh, December twenty-third and twenty-fourth. And then we'll go from there. Uh, but a lot of this, when when I do my, my BTS walks, 
uh, and when I start it, when I end it, really depends on uh, when I get up and, uh, and when I go to bed. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. I will see you in a couple hours. Democratic Earth. Earth.